So our next speaker is a special sponsor who really, really, really cares about supporting the entire JavaScript um, environment. So I personally know Niall Crosby, okay, back from 2015 when he had just this tiny hobby project called AG Grid and he showed it to me before Angular Connect talk, like a lightning talk he gave. And he said like, this is the best grid in the world. Mm. And we're like, yeah, go kill it. And he did. <laughs> and now they are big, okay? Mm. And they are the best grid in the world, okay? <laughs> so he's really one of our like, caring sponsor over the years, one of the, the, the best sponsors that we had for NGConf. Mm. So please welcome to the stage one of the most successful Angular component authors ever, <laughs> Niall Crosby. Okay, let's hear you. Welcome, Niall. Thank you. Thank you, Shai. Hello, NG Conf. Whoa! <laughs> it's been too long. It's been three years since we were here, and I missed it. Three years is too long. My name's Niall. This is Stephen. We're from AG Grid. Um, before I say what AG Grid is, I just want to know quickly, if you've actually heard of us and know what we do, just stick your hand up in the air. Yeah, that's, uh, we're, we're, we're getting around. About half people stuck their hands up. Okay, a new question. If you actually use us, or the company you work for uses AG Grid, stick your hand up in the air. About the same number of people. So I'd say nearly half of Angular developers at ng-conf use AG Grid. Brilliant! <laughs> that's fantastic. That is really, really, really good. Okay, for those of you who don't know us, um, <laughs> PowerPoint? Well, hey! <laughs> for those of you who don't know us, um, right, so we're a data grid. If you need to put your application on steroids, then you can put AG Grid into your app. So a data grid shows data in rows and columns, and if you're an enterprise data grid like us, you get to do loads of cool stuff like grouping data. Now, this demo I could have given three years ago. Actually, I did give it three years ago. So what we're going to do now is talk about cool stuff that we've been working on since the last time we were here. And the first one that I'm going to mention is integrated charts. So just say you've got an application, and you've got AG Grid inside your application, and you want to allow your users to chart. What you need to do is set one property in AG Grid, enable charts equal to true, and you get this type of experience. Basically, your users will feel like they're inside Excel and be able to do charting with your data right inside your grid and give this really powerful Excel experience, keeping your users on your platform and away from Excel. And to be honest, I think that's pretty, pretty cool. Clap, round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I see this, to be honest, I'm kind of blown away because I'm a grid guy. I like dream, eat, whatever, grids. And I've been in grids for about 10 years. Charts is a completely different discipline. I can't do charts. I can use this, but I couldn't develop the chart inside with this. So what we've been doing over the last few years is gathering a really kind of diverse expert team of developers in London where we're based, getting them all together in the same room, high fives, lots of stakes, and coming up with this stuff. And to me, when I see this, it's like an accumulation of expert minds, and it just blows me away. Um, Shai said, okay, it was me seven years ago, started AG Grid, but this, what AG Grid is today could only be done with a large, diverse um, team. Um, so with that, we're going to introduce somebody who's joined our team um, since we were here last. Um, so this guy is not only an Angular expert and a JavaScript expert in his own right, is now one of our AG Grid dev experts. So please, a warm ng-conf welcome to Stephen Cooper. Oh, thanks very much, Niall, for that intro. And yeah. The, the first time I actually heard about AG Grid was sitting where you were at another conference, Angular Connect. Hands up if you've been to Angular Connect and love Angular Connect. Um, yeah, and I was sitting in the audience, and my application was struggling to keep up with the number of data that we needed. Um, and I heard about AG Grid. I went back, and I swapped out our data table for AG Grid, and suddenly our client was like, this is amazing. I can just sort and filter my 100,000 rows of data, and I can do what I want. And then I did, I think I was uh, late enough to the party that I could actually start enabling charts. 
And they asked me, can we do this feature? And I said, yes, you can. Flicked the switch. And it made me look like a 10x developer when AG Grid had actually done all the hard work for me. But one of the things I want to talk about is how we're also now working on our developer experience. Because over those three or four years that I worked as a client of AG Grid, I got to know the grid a lot better, and I was using it in Angular. So I also knew about the pain points that you might have. And so when I joined the team, that was something that I said to Nile and the rest of the guys saying, can I work on this? Can I fix this for all our Angular users? So over the last year, that's what I've been doing. So some of the things which you might see different in our later versions is that our component is now strictly typed and fully typed. We've banished all the ennies. So when you see all the inputs, they've gone. They're now fully typed, and they're strict compliant. So we're handling some input coercion. Um, if you want to know more about that, come speak to me, because it's not just about applying the types that you want. So yeah, so strict types. We're fully full IV support now. Our examples in our docs um, with Plunker now support TypeScript, so you're getting auto-completion in there, making it even easier for you to play around with examples and toggle features. And the thing which shipped in version 28 um, just a few months ago is row data generics. And this is something which I am really happy that we managed to get in. So now if you click it again, it's not coming. So this is your experience before. No, it'll be worth it. <laughs> I promise you it'll be worth it. Things the clicker is getting confused. Let me just press space. Nope, oh, up, oh, up, oh, space. Nope, one last time. That's it. It's a video. Get up, no, get there, it is. there it is. There it is. So now you can pass it your row data type. So with your row data property, you give that row data with an interface. And you can also pass it to all of our other interfaces like this, and your data property will now be fully typed. So you're going to get much more accurate type checking, both on your component and in any of your methods that you like. But if you are new to finding about AG Grid and want to have a bit of hands-on experience, then Brian and Mike are doing a two-hour workshop Thursday evening for free. And they're going to walk you through the process of setting up AG Grid, putting your data in, setting up your columns, and showing you just how you would get started, and then also how you can customize the grid. So if you want to learn more about AG Grid and whether it will be a good fit for you, then come along on Thursday and, and learn from these two experts. And that's it. Lovely. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the conference. Yeah. Woo.